Yep, we're in the backyard. Running in this thing. So this comes with a new, this is a brand new EME 120 running JMB canisters. Amazing how quiet it is. Like really amazing. And I'm standing next to my house, there's a wall here. It's awesome. Wow, amazing. Engine's not broken in yet. This is the first run really of this engine. This is the um, 102 inch ARS 300. I'm just gonna run it in a tank. I'm already uh, halfway through. Checking engine temps here. Wow, the, I think my, it's kind of way off. 65 on left cylinder, 135 on the right. I don't think that's right. We'll uh, set our, we'll change the temp sensors here. But yeah, so quiet. Using, using a Magelic 2810 Evo prop. These are the uh, JMB headers. Look at the weld quality in this thing. These JMBs are really nice. They uh, smoothen out the exhaust pulses. And uh, I'm using uh, the long version, the TRC-60L. And you can see the stingers poking out there. I didn't need to put any extensions on. Just awesome. Yeah. Really smooth. Not bad for uh, first run. Of course, I took off everything just to make life easier here. This will be the only tank we're running through this. The rest will be done in the air. So it does idle now, about uh, 1400 ish. Not completely trustworthy yet until we tune that engine. Still a little rich, you gotta lean it out on the bottom end of it. But transition's really good. The sound is amazing. Being the first run, I haven't tuned the top end yet. It's still whatever it came with. Well, actually, that's not true. It came with a factory needle setting of one open on high, which I found was a little lean, you know, for a first run. So I went back to about 1.25 open on the bottom end and 1.5 open on the top end and then I start adjusting from there. So this uh, right now is about, um, it's been adjusted a little bit. It's now at 1.25 open on the top end and about 1.25 as well on the bottom end. So we'll be doing a little tweaking at the field when the fields do open. But this engine's nice and smooth. You know, look at the wingtips. Amazing. Yeah, 
view from the inside. That's the Aura 12 Pro. The IBEC runs right off the Aura 12 Pro. It's got three receivers in this thing. So three different azimuth on the antenna. The first one you'll see here is a downward V. And there's an upward V here. And in fact, there's, a, there's an XM Plus with a rearward V. So three azimuth being covered by the antenna. You're gonna ask me, why are you putting three receivers in there? Answer is, why not? It's there, I had them. <laughs> sitting in a drawer, so might as well use them. Uh, the Aura 12 actually provides dual dual receiver redundancy, but um, the FreeSky RX-8R Pro actually allows for three, four, five receiver redundancy. So all I did was daisy chain on the RX-8R Pro an extra receiver, plug that into port A of the uh, X, uh, well, what's it called, the um, port A of the Aura 12 Pro and I plug the other receiver directly into port B. So that's how I get my three receivers in. So uh, throttle response is already pretty good. So after this tank, every, the cowling and everything goes back on, goes back into storage until the field's open and the rest is done at the flying field. These are using all the new Bluebird servos, like the uh, H41s with slow start. Amazing, amazing servos. Super smooth. The elevators, since they're single, single uh, servo in each elevator, I'm using the H51s, Steel Gear Helical. They're a bit more resilient than the traditional titanium. But then again, I'm using the 41s on the rudder since I'm sharing the load between, between two uh, servos. And actually the Aura 12 made it easy to balance. On the ailerons, again, I'm sharing um, the strain on two servos. So I'm using the 41s, uh, 41 kilograms each, and there's two of them, and I'm running them right off the Aura 12 on direct uh, 4,000 milliamp 2S batteries. So lots, way, way overkill in torque, but all good. At this rate, I'll be out here for half an hour, but I won't keep the video going that long. Happy. There was, um, on Flying Giants, there's a big thread right now on uh, GP76 and GP123, and the new style of, um, you know, the black ignition, the non-RCXL ignition. Well, um, they were saying that the black ones are hit and miss, so I was kind of worried on this one. This has the same, the uh, EME 120, now comes with the same black GP 123 type of ignition. And what was being said in Flying Giants was, uh, the timing is variable on these things, and they're aggressive and they bite. So I made myself a, a foam chicken stick, you know, to preserve the fingers. Good idea at any time. But you know what? It behaves like an EME. Yeah, there is no biting, there is no nothing uh, abnormal, and uh, it's well behaved. Timing is set at between 28 and 29 degrees. I mean, I guess it's more 29 than 28. The, the timing on these are recommended to be 30 degrees, 
I'll just keep it at 29 until it breaks in and then we'll take it from there. On this plane too, we experimented. So you can see uh, an aluminum overflow coming out of the tank. There's also aluminum. You'll see... That one was hard to see, but there's also an aluminum fuel line that runs through the floor of the uh, engine box. So the fuel tubing I use between the tank uh, and that aluminum fuel line is about three inches. And then the connection between the engine and the aluminum fuel line is about two inches. Just enough for it to, you know, give it a little bit of flexibility. But yeah, I'm experimenting with aluminum fuel tubing instead of running fuel hose all the way. We all know how expensive uh, Viton tubing is. So if we only use a little bit and use aluminum, which is a lot cheaper, you know, we can stretch the value of that uh, Viton. <coughs> yep. Look at this. He's angry. He's ready to go. Ready, ready to go. Yeah, the rings are starting to seat. This thing is uh, starting to pick up. So funny, this is only a little bit louder than the lawnmower that I just used to cut the grass today. The prop makes more noise than the uh, engine. What I found out too is one of my neighbors uh, great guy with daddy jokes on a daily basis um, is also a squad leader squadron leader for air cadets which is awesome yeah asked to do demos so I'll be asking some of you guys to give me a hand to do demos for the air cadets all right this thing's been running for quite a while now and of course it's not at full throttle and I still got one third of a tank so I think I'm gonna cut out cut it off here and I'll see you guys later thanks guys see you soon be safe hope to see you guys at the field bye